Hey there, welcome to the second part of this new Archon Quest, this new Nutland Archon Quest. <coughs> hey there, it's Verlin. Welcome to the second part of this new Nutland Archon Quest. Let's see how it goes. We're taking a nap. Oh, Sitlali. Ah, uh, you're already here. I was just about to come get you. Wow, you're up early. That's impressive. Especially after all the drinking last night. <laughs> Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. I heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss, including the Masters of the Nightwind. I need to head back right away. The Abyss attacked again? Are you Run sure you can attack. handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. The stadium could always use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. Yeah, that's I was the one good, who vouched for him, good so I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry, I never forget a promise to a friend. Thank you. Alright, I need to start heading back. Oh, yeah, we're friends now. The situation must be really serious. Uh, oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. What? Oh, that was fast. <laughs> oh, Yunsen. Traveler so over cute. here. Oh, perfect. Our star Outlander has appeared. Outlander, like the, oh, like the healthy but, but, unknown goat caller. What's with the whole star Outlander thing? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. All right, but can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwind, the Children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. She's so cute. Yes, <laughs> and the attacks are increasing in frequency. Chaska's sister is really cute too. The tribes have plenty of defenses, so Hopefully. they're safe for now. But I can't say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Chaska and I mm. have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mulani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the Children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. Yeah, that does sound important. No worries. Just leave the Children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. <laughs> that would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Let's part ways here for now. And most importantly, be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated <laughs> by dangerous-looking substances. That will make my job a lot easier. The side-eye. <sighs> Koichi, do we really have to do this now? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. She's just looking out for everyone. All right. Let's hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archon so we can help the others. Oh, really? 
they left with me. Oh, it's you two. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're going to go help the children of Echoes after this. What? <laughs> all right. That's quite the reaction. So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. I will right. answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. Sure. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. Which is... So you're gonna sacrifice her soul The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Oh. So, if anyone's familiar with Honkai Impact, this is basically like the... What was it called? Kevin's project, like from the Flame Chasers arc, the one with the... I completely forgot the name for some reason, but with the Soul Atom. That will put like... It's kind of similar. We'll put everyone in some sort of dream, and they will, in they will be protected. I don't know. It, the mechanic behind it sounds kind of similar. I completely forgot. Ah, Project Stigma. It sounds the mechanics behind it sound kind of familiar. It's kind of similar, I guess. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean? Yes, it means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing, given the enormity of the price. It's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk. But after weighing our options, this is our best bet. Mm, yeah, it's kind of surprising. It's, well, I don't know if it's actually surprising that the Gnosis can do this, because we don't actually know what they do and taken we have gotten some hints about how like the archons get like some sort of deal with the whole patience thing i guess it's not that surprising because it probably has so many uses but yeah it, it kind of sound doesn't sound like something an archon well not Mo movica will do i guess natlan is unique among the nations of tavat Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyra Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Yeah, that, that's a friendly reminder that Tevat is actually a continent, and not the world itself. So that's, that's kind of interesting, because we haven't... It hasn't been a topic that has been talked about, so it'll be pretty surprising to to know more about that. Like, I feel like at this point of the game, we should be learning more about this stuff, so hopefully this, this quest does the job. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the captain learned this information. Yeah, oh, that, that's one more right. Thing? The captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so he can answer that question for us. Mm -hmm. 
Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me. Even if just for a second. Well, we don't really have any... Like... Compromise, I guess? Like, we don't really have a reason to believe so easily anyone, basically. Not even a little! We would never... Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> <laughs> just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. She really speaks kind of like, like a politician, I guess. She sounds like those speeches they give. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? <sighs> you scared, Paimon. You've really got a lot of guts, Traveler. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. Mawika. It's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. <sighs> Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warriors stationed in those areas can handle it. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but oh. given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. Yeah, that's what they talked about when we first arrived. I wonder if that's why Bennett is kind of like, you know, Bennett. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. <sighs> yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Hmm. So, there's some sort of war going on. Oh, that's, that's quite far away. Oh. I've gotten used to to Shilonin already, so I kind of use her to go around everywhere. Oh. Quick, over here to safety. Kachina, how many people do you have left? Oh, she's not voice right, I forget. It's Lion and Paimon, they're here. What's the situation? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. I'm coming too. Sorry, I'm not a voice actor, clearly. But you have this sound. I'll try to voice her. And can each too. Stay oh, safe. We've got this. I'm using. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I think this is the first time. Bring it. Letting brave names echo. Right here. Oh, 
sounds like he's talking to the people choking him. I really thought I was done for. Sorry for the clumsy fighting. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the abyss isn't after Mora. <laughs> well, that that was. That should be the last obvious. abyssal pylon near the children of Echoes. Phew, that was scary, but we did it. <sighs> By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. Yeah, that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. <laughs> oh, I ran out of Fujiston again. Pretty close. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Ugh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. I wasn't in charge of anything, we just happened to be together. Seal, I think this proves that camping in the wall was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so far. Oh my god, sorry for my voice. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. Um, what? You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and... All we can do is wait. And we still don't know when the two final heroes are going to appear. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. I mean, you don't really are an eternal oh. optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. I don't we want of the two heroes, and I guess Oron is a second one, so. I guess we're complete in a way. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. It's probably because our plan is so risky, we don't know- We don't even know if the six heroes will reunite in time. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. Yeah. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important, but so are history and memory. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back. Th the next question is, if the captain found a new way to save Natland, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Yeah, and like, why aren't they working together? Like, what's going on? Yeah, and isn't he from Sneshnaya? What would the Fatui want to save now, man? Uh, this is so super confusing. To be fair, we don't really know where he's from, so... Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Malika said her intelligence officers should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. 
I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Want to join our, our garrison, Molani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. <sighs> it's all a chain reaction. Then you should go to his register right away. It shouldn't take long. Everyone's looking for people. Register? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, <laughs> go where you go, do what you do. Um, okay, but then you have to follow my order. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. All right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! We change back to the team I was using. Let me. Time to broaden the horizons again. <laughs> To worry. Did she get corrupted? They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over You're right. That's a traveling group from Natlan. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from now. Oh. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> we're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. Oh. G got it. We'll <laughs> get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh, no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. What's that special We way? still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. 
I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Ah, <laughs> guess that means I win. Don't worry. You're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right. Same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. I don't know if that quoting is the perfect one for hiding, but now. that's what we have. Oh, there was a clock over there. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Oh, if so we can decide. Good. The hide and seek I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. That's it. Now's my chance. That's the special way of their try to get around? Sneaky? I thought she was going to like... Pull a skill or something. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Time to move. Whew. That was close. Almost got caught. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. <laughs> My sister? Let's see. The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it! What's that? Huh? What's that noise? Did something explode? Oh, it stinks! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing! Good, they're arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance. Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. 
<laughs> Smart idea. Give me your hand, quick. Coming! I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to... Something well, there. I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? I feel like they should now finish I this look up like first the mean and one. Then, <laughs> and then, like, sheer. Let's body. focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatili are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. <clears throat> what was that sound? Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? What? <laughs> yeah. You'll regret that! After them! What just happened? Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. Well, that is comment, I guess. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. <laughs> So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> Well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... Uh, I accept! Thank hmm. you, Archon. That's the equivalent of the animal cracker. What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. Animal crackers are really good. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know.
I'm taking Koichi home. With our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not gonna rush out the minute you hear the alarm? I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might... But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. <sighs> I guess you're right. But I don't have to like it. <laughs> this reminds Paimon of when we first met! Except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Well, that applies to you as well. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? That's true. <laughs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Mm. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> They're fighting again. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. <laughs> just pretend Paimon never said anything. <laughs> don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. <laughs> okay, you don't have to put it that way. <laughs> so, you're all good now? Neither of us are really the type to back down, so we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. for real at some point, right? Well, we've learned a lot. Let's go over everything that we know so far. Ahem. <coughs> uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. Uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't <laughs> beat around the bush. Oh, and... I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Awesome! Just give us your orders! <laughs> that was funny. Hey, funny. friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh yeah, you mentioned how Auroron has always wanted to save Natlan, and something about his soul being fragmented. Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Auroron is probably back with the Captain. What do you think? Didn't Oron say something similar about the Traveler? Or... I think I think he did. I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Auroron came back. He helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. What? He came back? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him go at all! I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Ugh, all these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your 
tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> You're right. Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroran is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look. Remember how I said Auroran's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable, and this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroran is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and... He happens to be very good friends with Auroran. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroran would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. He probably suspected that I tampered with it. But here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem. Which he no longer needed. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Uh, most people can't. But I can. <laughs> that trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroran's memories in this gem. <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows. Poopy, should we be speaking about That's this? That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away. Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? Huh? That's a tough question. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago, and now I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. <laughs> I don't scare that easy. Still... If I back away from this, and something happens to Auroran, I would never forgive myself. <sighs> I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. I don't care, and I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say... You'll come with me? Is that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because, uh... Right! We need leads on the Fatui. You... really mean it? Uh, fine. You can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out! Go don't worry, we're professional adventurers! Uh, then I place my trust in your professionalism. All right. Time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some, uh, unwanted spying. <clears throat> uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> Are you ready? Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you? Eva says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Actually talking to them. Hey! How's it going, Auroran? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? 
No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. Ha! <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. That's pretty amazing. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. What does that even mean? Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone. But I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. Hmm. You're from the Masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. I guess you're from the Fatui. The one everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitalali is her name. Granny? What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. You have business with her? <sighs> <laughs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, he could tell I was lying and now he's leaving? He gave up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Sidlali. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny, I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. My lord! <laughs> hmm? Ignore him. He is no threat. <laughs> he knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell. But there's something unusual about him and also familiar in some way i can't describe it is he fragmented too ah what is it my lord i i feel dizzy a ley line disturbance certain presences have been forced to wander outside the rightful realm <sighs> uh, that was a spell from the masters of the night wind how did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Now that I'm looking so much really at no harm? Capitano's model, I feel like there are way too many resemblances between him and Dainsley. His outfit is... The cape, especially. I've been following him this whole time and still they ignore me? Do they really not care? It seems like his subordinates refer to him as the captain. Never heard of him before. 
And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? Are the Fatui not famous enough? Because all the entire quest they've been talking about this Fatui, but like, oh, like, why would he care about Natlan? But I guess then it's not known that the Harbingers are from different nations or something, or maybe there isn't actually that much information about the Fatui. But I'm kind of surprised. You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir! He's going inside? But the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? <sighs> the time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <sighs> They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines, it's faint, like a soul's trying to escape. Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. Oh, so that's what happened. Hmm. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. What? She could have dispelled it. She simply oh. chose not to. Ah, you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? <coughs> no need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. <laughs> Is he talking in a similar manner to him? And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. <laughs> then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. I like how My soul is I more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. Can she really save us? The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So, I felt like I had to help you. Ah. So, you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. <laughs> it's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Sitlali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? You know, I was thinking this entire time whenever Capitano speaks, I would be like, oh why they didn't animate his like his lips when he when he's talking. But now I'm thinking that you see that sound effect his son his voice kinda has? Maybe he's not... If he's fragmented, maybe his body isn't, like, complete in a way. So maybe he's not 
maybe he doesn't even have one like maybe he's the armor and he, we are just here like like he's thought like like alphans from full metal alchemist i want to do something to change natland for the better something i can accomplish with my own two hands you're stranger than anyone i've ever met but maybe just maybe you can show me the way Strange. <laughs> Cicelale is said to be the legendary Granny Eatstley, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub. And the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Oh, wow. He's, he's being quite stunned. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul. A sense of justice. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. I see. Interesting approach. Worth trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem. Oh, so that's why he... By reconstructing the ley lines themselves. How can you even do that? Traveler, Paimon. Are you two all right? Uh, Paimon's fine, just, um... <laughs> of course. I'm just... Oh, I'm so mad at him! <sighs> After everything, he still can't let go of the past. <sighs> for some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <sighs> Stubborn, self-righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> Maybe stubbornness runs in the family. Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh, <laughs> that kid's got nothing on me. <sighs> anyway, back to what we just saw. I don't even know what to make. Yeah, the captain seriously wants to reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like the Loom of Fate, maybe? But how does it help with the Abyss? The Loom of Fate? Oh. Oh, I... It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conrio that has unbelievable power. It's from Kanri? Anyway, I just if he from the really Abyss. wants to manipulate the ley lines, everyone in that land will be affected. Oh, this is big. Which means the captain has been honest from the very beginning. Why is he so obsessed with saving that land? Oh, we've got to tell Malika about this right away. Yes, she needs to know about this. this is it for this episode thanks for watching <laughs>